what is up guys welcome to another video so today we're gonna take a walk around the medical university in Jilin this was actually a video that was requested by uh, someone uh, an Instagram account uh, goes by the name Jilin times so uh, I'm gonna put a link in the description so you guys can see it um, so this page messaged me and uh, they asked if I could shoot a video uh, about the the medical university in Jilin because so many like overseas students they can't come back and they uh, they kind of miss the university and like the whole place so if I could make a video about this it would be really good and they would actually put it out on their page as well so you know the advertisement goes both ways so I do a bit for them and they do a bit for me so I'm not getting paid for it uh, I'm not expecting to get paid for it the only income is the ad revenue from YouTube so I didn't ask any money for this they didn't offer anything um, I guess it's just a mutual kind of advertisement thing So they good this is the back entrance i can't actually go in um, and i don't really want to break the law or break any rules by by sneaking in so we're gonna stay on the other side of the fence but uh, as you can see there are a few people in there oh, and actually you can see that that lady's gonna give the stuff over the fence to these two girls so maybe they're not allowed to come out i'm not sure this guy took some stuff as well some milk actually if you guys remember my other video you know milk is racist that guy is actually carrying milk so yeah so yeah there you go you can see people are getting stuff from the other side of the fence i'm not exactly sure why maybe they're not allowed to leave or i'm i'm not 100 percent sure but that was that was a bit weird uh, considering that you know there's no coronavirus in in Jilin well basically in China there's there's not you know not many cases so I'm not exactly sure what's going on why they need to do it this way but uh, yeah this is one of the entrances that you can go in uh, to the uni and uh, if you look down there you can see it's a very long road all the way to the bottom so yeah, they have loads of buildings and uh, yeah, quite a few people even though it's a Saturday. Like today is Saturday and uh, still loads of people around. So I'm going to put the camera through here. And let's go see. So I did send the drone up uh, at the main entrance on the other side where the main road is. But... Uh, I might do it here as well you know I need to go a bit higher maybe about 50-60 meters but it should be all right plus there are a couple of cables that I uh, I don't really like but uh, I have the drone in my in my bag so we're gonna take it out send it up and uh, take a look uh, it shouldn't be illegal like what you need to know about this uni is uh, this one was a medical university for uh, the PLA and they were training uh, people to become like medical professionals for for the air force so you might see some aircrafts on site but it should be a hundred percent legal to fly a drone here because i did check on the dji app and if you guys are familiar with it you know that some areas are restricted this area is full green so it should be okay to fly it here but uh, we shall see i'll double check it in the app now
right and there you go that was an interesting flight now I'm gonna give you a bit of a history lesson about this place so I pulled up Baidu and uh, I typed in Jilin Medical University so I'm gonna use my phone and I'm gonna tell you guys some interesting facts so originally it opened in 1952 but it wasn't actually a university back then it was only a middle school then it developed into a university and like I said earlier it was for the Air Force so they were training medical professionals for the Air Force and they say up to 400 international students come here every year to study uh, which is not surprising I mean I do see a lot of uh, international students here uh, when it's not coronavirus time and we do have a lot of restaurants here as well catering to to international students for example all the way down there there is an Indian restaurant called curry base and that's been there for years as uh, as far as I know and I do like to go there sometimes to get some legit Indian food so uh, that's one place where you can definitely get some some really nice you know international cuisine and there are a couple of burger places around here as well uh, some pizza places as well but uh, mostly chinese like restaurants but they do have that occasional like western slash international restaurant here they also have a lot of like internet cafes here so uh, students can go in play like games for example like league of legends starcraft uh, Dota, all of these like you know games that uh, that people play nowadays so like Fortnite and whatnot you know I'm not really into that sort of stuff I'm more of a League of Legends player I do play that sometimes but uh, I'm more of a camera person now so I do like to film stuff as you can tell but uh, yeah this is what the area around the university looks like it's uh, it's very jam-packed, loads of cars and, and everything. But I'm still not sure what was going on at the gate back there. Uh, maybe they still have like some sort of a lockdown going on. Um, I'm not exactly sure. The thing is, I don't actually know any students there. Um, I don't have any friends at the medical university, so I can't really ask anyone about it. So if you're watching this video and if you know someone or if you know what's going on there, drop a comment down below and uh, let us know your uh, your information about this place now the other thing about this uni is that it is ranked number 12 in china so it's the 12th best university for medical studies in China and probably 12 as, as an overall university as well I'm not 100% sure about that but I did see it's uh, the 12th university on the list uh, I would assume it's for medical so when it comes to medicine this is the 12th best one in China which is you know a really good thing and that's uh, that's pretty high up in my opinion considering China is 1.5 billion people's country so that many people live here and uh, you know being uh, 12th in something like that that's pretty good in my opinion so uh, you know hats off to to the medical university in Jilin it's uh, it's really good and it looks really developed as well when I was flying my drone I saw a lot of buildings getting like refurbished and all that sort of stuff so uh, it looks like they are uh, they are taking good care of this place and it looks like it's developing as well so uh, that's that's always a good thing you know not just standing in one place that they're actually developing this so uh, yeah my uh, my impression of this place is obviously very positive so yeah i don't know what else i can tell you guys about this you know if you have any questions about this place or if you if you want me to go into like maybe the main building and try to talk to someone drop a comment below then i can come back and make another video about this one because uh you know i i didn't really have any clue like what to do what to film like i did have some pointers try to get some you know aerial shots of the place and and things like that you know if you want to know more about the history or uh or what they actually do here you know drop a comment down below then uh, I can try to find out something for you guys so yeah like I said down there they have those fighter jets 
uh, but they're obviously on display so I think it's totally fine to film them I think I do have those in my drone shots as well uh, like I said it's it's a display so it's kind of like you know filming a traffic sign like this one so I think it's totally fine and uh, won't cause me any trouble but uh, yeah that's it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did consider subscribing leave a comment leave a like and I will see you guys in the next one